hello so today we are going to discuss a uh, ansys problem and uh, this is for a bar of, co of constant cross section area and uh, so we are going to discuss this problem where young's modulus has been given and the area has been given and we are required to find nodal displacement stress in each element and reaction forces so first of all we open mechanical apdl this is the application which we have to open just wait for a minute so this is mechanical APDL that we need and uh, so for the first part if we see the question over here so just uh, pause the video see the question use it as a reference take a photo of it or whatever you want now next uh, so first of all we have to uh, we just change the job name we'll write it as practice one and save it as okay and uh, next we are going to go in preferences and since this is a structural problem we use this uh, structural uh, option ok in preprocessor this is the first part we define the element we need to define the element first and this should be link and 180 this is the element type which we need ok close now uh, we are not going to define real constant in this because it won't uh, add in previous version we had to uh, use real constant even in manuals it is given to use real constant but that was for 2014 version we can't use that uh, this is the uh, error that we get it's no longer supported so what we need to do is we go to sections and we go for link we add and uh, let it be one uh, this is link one and link area we enter that over here so real constant is not supported for links we have to go in sections and define this then link area we have been given is 500 mm square so we are we are going to write 500 over here okay and uh, next thing is we are going to define the material properties so in material properties we going uh, we go for material models there are different types of models so uh, this one is linear isotopic so we use that and the Young's modulus that's given is 2.1 and we have to write 2.1 E5 and uh, for 10 to raised power 5 we write e E5 and uh, PRXY is the Poisson's ratio 0.27 click OK and just uh, close it so now the next thing is we have defined the structure uh, uh, it is a structural problem we have defined the link we have defined its area we have defined its material type now we come for modeling so in modeling we go for create you can either create key points or you can directly create nodes since this is a very simple problem i'm going to create nodes so the difference between creating a key point then a line as compared to creating a nodes and an element both are similar actually in uh, key points and line we uh, it's actually a solid modeling so we create that and then mesh it as uh, elements and nodes so over here i'm going to use nodes in active cs and uh, in active coordinate system uh, for node one since it is at the origin you don't have to specify any value just uh, click apply for node 2 uh, since the length is how much length is 1000 mm so i am going to type in x direction it is 1000 and ok so we have two nodes over here then as we have created nodes now we have to create elements and elements if we have different materials we have to go for element attributes specify everything over here so section number is link one only no problem everything is good then we go for auto number through nodes we have to create so uh, we have we are going for the pick option pick first node and then pick the second node then click ok 
so we have this element over here now uh, we have created the model over here now we have to provide all the constraints and the loads so we go in loads and define load and then uh, we go for apply because we are going to apply the loads we are going to structural and uh, since we are seeing this part over here it's fully constrained so we go for displacement since we these two are nodes we go for on nodes and uh, we are going to pick single and we are going to pick the first node over here and if we see this node is fully constrained so we are going to go for apply and all duf it's constrained in all duf so okay so we see this uh, all duf constraint symbol over here and now according to the picture if we see according to the question we have a force over here on the right hand side of 1000 newton so what we are going to do is we are going to apply structural and force moment so force on node 2 so we are going to select pick single and on the node 2 apply and since it's in the fx direction this is the x axis and it's a constant value of value 1000 newton click ok so we have an arrow over here and one thing if you uh, uh, zoom in and out over here you will see uh, the element will uh, yeah the el uh, the element that we created uh, just vanishes so don't mind that just uh, don't worry about it it's like that only but uh, just imagine there is a element over here and this was the force that we have applied in the fx direction in x direction now all we have done is applied the constraints over here applied the force over here now we have to solve it to see if there is any uh, we have to initiate a fin uh, finite element uh, analysis solution so we go for solve current load step and create uh, say ok so there is no error solution is done now we create an element table and this was the second part solution and in general post -pro processing we go for uh, where is element table yeah element table we are going to define a table add and uh, in this we are going to use for by sequence number load step 1 and I'm going to select ok close now uh, we can do one thing is plot results uh, counter plot and we are the element table that we have created we are going to uh, just plot it element table in ls1 ok so this is the element table that we got now uh, for the second part uh, we are going to list the reaction solution how to get the reaction solution mm, go for list results in this search for reaction solutions this is the reaction solution all items and say ok so these are the reaction solutions and uh, at node 1 we have minus 1000 and uh, so what we'll do is we'll save this thing save as and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to save this so make a folder or something where you can save this and I'm going to save this new practice one for practice one so we'll save this save make a folder it's better to you make a folder because we are going to save the uh, reaction solution as well as the plots in the same folder it's better to make a, a proper uh, folder for it so next thing we are going to plot the results uh, the displacement that we are getting so again go for the plot result go to counter plot and nodal solution actually we need the nodal solution uh, the displacement that we have 
and DOF solution X, co X component. So if you want, you can have only a deformed shape. In this case, I am going to have deformed plus undeformed model in order to see what's the proper changes. I'll select OK. So this much uh, we have the displacement and all these values we have. OK. And uh, next thing is if you want to do animation or not, like uh, you can go for plot controls. And uh, first I'm going to save this. So to save this, you can uh, go over here image capture click on it we can have it to capture to file okay. uh, we are going to create a pdf of it let's go and uh, pdf color okay then we are going to save uh, this whole picture as pdf this is with a black background but if you need in white background no worries you just uh, we have we are just actually doing that only so d answers new practice one over here practice one plot so i'm going to save this as pdf and save so this is going to save it as PDF and if we see the output, we are seeing the output as a white background with proper uh, output, the proper plot. So we already saved it. Now if you want uh, any animation, you can go and plot controls, animate and in animate you can go for deformed shape. Where is deformed shape? Yeah. And deformed plus undeformed we are going to get okay and as you can see this uh, this much amount of deformation we are getting so you can increase the frame rate so in this way we have just solved the first problem thank you